Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. Today out here, some course management again at Rotherham Golf Club. Big thank you to the guys here for letting me out early on this, it's a November's morning, but it is warming up. So here, 18th hole, par four, 456 yards, stroke index four, so a very hard finishing hole. And I know many people with where this hole has basically killed their rounds. So the green is actually over these trees and we'll see that as we go around, but we're gonna be playing down this way. So for most golfers, treat this for me as a par five. You're gonna get a shot here, it's stroke index four. So like I say, 90% of your golfers are getting a shot. Use them. Play down here. The run out is probably around about 2.30, so the majority of you will be okay. If you're somebody who hits it further than 2.30, think about dropping back a club. You're better from there hitting towards the green than you are hitting into these trees and losing the ball. Also, if you go over, there's a lot of trees that you would have to avoid. So think about it. If you come here, bush all those trees, see what distance you've got, and you want to play short of those. So for me, I'm gonna play a very similar shot to what I did on the 15th hole. I've got my three wood. I'm gonna grip down the slightly so it doesn't run out for me. And from here, just a nice motion. So a little bit toey, that's drawn a little bit for me. Started up the right hand side and it is drawn back. So it's gonna leave me a longer shot in, but for me, the trouble is if I go over the trees, especially in winter with the leaves, we might lose it under the leaves, it might plug, we might hit the trees, it might not carry. We're starting to bring in six, sevens and eights instead of me being able to hit it down the right, get as close to the green as possible, if not on the green, and try and get out of here with at the worst, a bogey. Again, for November, Andy and the team have got the course in fantastic conditions. Walkway is still holding up, not too wet. And as you will see as we walk round this corner, it's a nice finishing hole with the clubhouse in sight. So you can see there's a big dog leg. You can see from the tee box we'd have to go over these trees and then be flirting with that tree there. So playing to the right here towards this tall evergreen is going to leave us a shot in. So let's get over the hill and find mine and we'll play in. So still no sign of mine. There is the uh, evergreen, which it was just drawing back to. Is that something? Now, there we go. So I have run out and I have run into the rough just past these tracks. So it's a tougher shot because I am now in the rough. It is sat down a little bit and this is a perfect lie that I see in the winter that people need to take a little bit more care of. There's a lot of grass behind that ball so it is going to take some out of it. So here the 150 markers as we can see just past that tree. So here I've got 190 in. I'm going to have to take pretty much most club I've got, maybe rely on a flyer, if not, it'd be the front of the greens. So here I'm gonna use a five iron. So 190, a very good one of those, even it is warming up slightly now for us, should just creep on the front edge. And the pin is in the middle of the green, so I'm gonna aim bang for the middle. I don't want to be playing okay to one side or the other. I know here there is out of bounds left, if the ball does move slightly to the right, which is my normal shape, then there's a nice area to chip and it's a very straightforward shot. So here, when something's behind the ball, we're gonna to need to make sure we get a little bit more weight on our left. So that's gonna get the ball, well, it's gonna get a little bit steeper. It's gonna get it launching out a little bit lower, but then we need to make sure we've got enough club not for it to come out like a bullet low. If I'd have gone a three iron here, it's gonna come out way too low and it's never going to get where we want it to. So five iron, a little bit more weight left. And you see there, didn't get the best strike, a lot of grass interference, but that ball's ran up just past that bunker 
it's a little bit shorter the green but i'll have a chip down so if i'd have gone with a three iron that's probably going to launch into this grass here it's not going to get enough air and it's not going to get the distance so making it hard i've hit a good tee shot been punished with a lie but we need to take the medicine there and give ourselves the easiest chip shot so it's ran just past the bunker it stayed in the fairway it's given me a shot now downhill to the green again make sure winter golf dry the ball off place that give yourself the best lie you can and make it as easy as possible here we're hitting onto a down slope I know there's still some dew out here this morning, but I am using a nine iron bump and run. I'm not trying to land it. If I use something like a 56, you might land into the bank and shoot on. I'm looking to land this just over the trolleys this way lines, and then get the ball running down that slope. So feet close together, club laying flat, got a dry golf ball, a dry club face, and get that running down to around about five feet so minimal stroke minimal action the easiest shot in front of me that has ran down there and that's given me another it's been a tough like i said when we started on the 13th hole it's a tough back six holes you, you can hit good shots and still be punished so here i'm trying to get out really over these back six holes at one over before we then start the front nine next week so plenty of work left. Unfortunately, it seems to have been a trend this morning. So really take my time on the read. Let's line her up. And let's try and get out here with damage limitation front nine here like i said at rotherham is a lot more scorable which you'll hopefully see in the coming weeks but we still have to plot our way around nicely good only just gone in so guys a very tough finishing six holes i have done this course in reverse just because how busy it is but a very tough finish you don't have to do much wrong there to drop a shot you see back four or five weeks ago now on the 13th i missed the green i chipped up and i missed a four or five footer and you see really there i've grinded it out i've had a couple of chances at birdie but it's really about sticking out playing to the percentages playing to where you as a mid handicapper are going to have the easiest shot and you are going to be able to limit the amount of shots you are having as a result then you're going to it's going to be easier for you to lower your handicap again think about conditions take into account weather is it colder i mean the sun is coming out now hopefully the camera angle can still see me it is colder this morning so the ball wasn't traveling as far when i first came out so you really have to take that into account and then you also have to take into account when you're chipping is the dew on the green is the dew on the grass how is it going to affect it you might change what kind of shots you play so guys hopefully you've enjoyed that and i'll see you again later in the week